I had this dream last night that I was at this place that had it was like a it was like a lake. It was like a lake. And uh I met all these new people. I don't know who they were. I, I never seen these people before. And there was a uh like a small cute chick that I was hanging out with. And then there was this guy that looked like a fat Joaquin Phoenix or like a, a thick one. And he was doing some sort of plumbing. And I got a job with him. We went to this place. I know we we're on the edge of a boat, getting off of a boat dock. But then we went into this weird um it was like a you know that movie they have I think it's it's either 13 ghosts or whatever how it has that weird place with the interlocking rooms and stuff it was like that but they had water it was like in a cube because I've seen that on the video game I saw this outside one time when I went out at night I looked up in the sky and it looked like there was a um like a cube point with the down pointed pointed side down rotating I look up there and I see that I said you know fuck this I'm going inside I just went back in the house I didn't want to look at it I didn't want to be out there I didn't want anything to do with it and I don't know but inside of it it was like it was open in the middle. We were in there. We were like trying to hold on. I don't remember. We were just in there. And there was different. The different areas were contained. They had water. And it would like open them up. And water would be. Not, it was weird. It was really fucking weird. And I have no idea what. What that's about. But what was strange about it was. The new, the new people. That I had met. Because they, they seem like. Their own. They seem like real people. Like they were. I don't know. People from somewhere. I don't, I don't know what to think about it. Maybe it'll be people that I do meet. Eventually. I'm not entirely sure. I slept really good. I usually do and go right into my dreams after my bouts against reality. But you know what? I don't... I find all this political stuff fascinating. I really do. I don't, I don't remember being as interested in it when I was younger. I'm interested in it now. I like to try to do some things because it just feels like people are so led astray by the weirdest fucking beliefs and creepy shit. You don't want to have a you don't want to have a society where you have you know, we're still America is still really the best place for something to happen. We don't want to have a society where we're under control and we lose our weapons and all that stuff and they, you know they can just do anything to us they want. That's not good. That's not good. Americans don't thrive in that. And other people would probably do good at having a, a system where they could do things and make better choices. And, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just chilling, watching all this stuff. I think the Trump stuff is pretty sick. You know, I don't, you know, that's the UFO file they're trying to get from him. If you watch um, Dark Journalist, there's been a lot of talk about that because that's been moving through the different presidencies for a while but he got really involved in it 
And we obviously know that we have other beings that are interacting with us in this realm. Do they live on another planet? I'm not sure. I'm sure they could be living here. And just be in the underground. Really, it's just, if you don't have evil entities messing with you, you can thrive. You could be all right. I don't know if I'm thriving, but I feel good. I feel good about life. I'm not too psychologically messed up. Basically normal. But I wonder about things. I'm interested in stuff. I don't really like going out though. I don't like really going out into the world. Not anymore. I don't I don't really like it out there. We got a nice place here. We have some land that we're on. So that seems to satisfy me. Plus it's been hot as hell. In the outside. A little bit kind of miss working doing sheet metal. Because I made so much money. But I had to drive and do all that stuff. And it, it could be a problem. I seem to get in trouble when I drive. I don't know. I want to drive. I got to get another driver's license. It hasn't been easy. But then again, I don't want to drive. been trying new things when I opened my when I opened my awareness to go in there and play the video game like I'm sniffing around like a dog picking up the different scents I was able to slightly channel And the first time I started talking as if I'm channeling Biden, because I wanted to sort of get a feel of how he is, you know, get a better perspective on maybe what he's about, since he's such a, a weirdo. And I didn't like it. I didn't like him. Do I think that if I just start engaging myself and speaking as Joseph Biden. It's not just me talking. I think that there's something within us that can uh, accommodate that. I didn't just make up what I said. I just, and, you know, I just responded to my own responses, and I, and I didn't, I didn't like that because he he would get touchy feely, and I could perceive it. I could perceive both him and I could perceive both Trump somewhere around and I could interact with them. And Trump was actually a lot more interesting to interact with because he was trying to get me to see the, there was a vat of like people, people turned to liquid. I'm not saying that that's a real thing. But what I'm saying, in a way, it's sort of like a an astral representative of where people on that side are. Because they want to be able to melt into their feely place. They want to be able to melt into each other. And they were calling him Doctor. And I think to them, he is kind of like their doctor. You know, he, as long as he's the band-aid that's going to be on their social issue and keep in their safe space, then they can melt into it. It was a big stinky vat. And it was weird because I was talking with Donald Trump 
the um, my own channel to like you know just get you know get some back and forth and it's interesting because the personalities do come through he's like look at the vat look at the vat he's like holding my he's like look look close your nostrils look at the vat look it's all, open them slowly you've got you've got to know what this is you've got to know you got to know what this is and I did I could smell something and it was such a weird array of smells and shit that oh, I was it made it was sickening but it wasn't it wasn't right it wasn't good it wasn't what you want it wasn't what you want but I had learned some things that I don't think I would have been able to pick up had I not done that you know, it wasn't like I turned into a dog. I was playing the game, and I was dialoguing. You know, I, I, I shared it. The first one I did with Biden, I didn't, I couldn't get him off me. I had to, I had to start another one and, and actually not engage with him, so I didn't have to deal with that. And I just, I thought that was weird because I, you know, I thought I would be able to just block it out, and it, no, he just wanted to keep on. He wants to convince everyone that we're doing the right thing. We're we're doing the right thing, and you'll this will be great for you. <laughs> it's, he doesn't care what you want, what you think. Doesn't care at all. And I, I just think that's so fascinating that that party. You know, at one time I would have thought I would have been one of those whenever I was younger, a like Democrat or whatever, liberal. Uh, they're not. They're not liberal at all. Not at all. And the fact that the youth are picking up this communism, Marxist stuff, is very fascinating to me because it just shows that they don't know their history. I mean, why would anybody want something like that? Seriously. Why? Why anything? So the society is pretty weird. You know, you get your own friends to gang stalk you or your own gang stalker community to gang stalk you. If you try to talk with people on these dating apps, what you find is you just have a bunch of, it's the same person, whoever it is, it's one person having an app or doing something else. It's not what you think. Used to be a lot of robots. It's still, probably some of them that are a lot of robots, but every once in a while, I get a wild hair up my ass, and I want to meet women, talk to women, because I don't see as many in uh from my house. But you know what? It's probably good. It's probably just fine. I'm stuck in my ways the way I am. I met a witch and I knew she was a witch I was like you know he started saying all this hateful stuff I was like what is wrong with you what is wrong with you there was some other stuff but I don't want to I don't want to get into that it's just creepy but what she could perceive was just the outer layer but she could perceive it she wanted to taste my blood. Said it was sweet. You know, because they drink blood and they do all kinds of creepy shit. I'm not into that. Not at all. I definitely don't want anything to do with anyone like that. Find it creepy. I processed out whatever I was processing. And today's a new day. Yesterday was kind of difficult, though. Because there was a... There's a lot of energies and sort of attacks that I perceive, but I don't, they're not necessarily physical. You know, you can tell from the emails you get. Different stuff. You get an email about something that's, you're not even gonna, you're not even gonna really interact with it. But you can see by the names and the letters. 
and the stuff that's on it, it's sort of a sign for something. It could be somebody's name. It could be a sign for you, giving you a clue. This, this whole thing is consciousness. So, from that point of view, there's a weird hive mind thing already going on. But then there's a creepy hive mind thing going on with the um, the me mechanistic control side. But we all can pretty much interact with each other in the other realm. Or even in this realm, just uh, using some of the uh, space time, time space aspects of just pulling in something to dialogue with it. You can dialogue with your own alter egos in that way. But they always seem to be in perspective somewhere either behind you to the side not normally behind you but to the front of you or whatever. It's just however it is. That's all I got. It's coming. coming. 